hello dear students welcome to the another video tutorial of parasitology and we have started with the tania solium okay and tania solium is also known as the the pork tapeworm okay okay so we have seen in the last session that is the external morphology how this entire animal look like okay we have seen its uh, morphology with its uh, modifications with its head the presence of uh, the rostellum the scolex magnified profiles we have seen okay and we have seen its frontal view and its diagonal view of its head okay so we are today we are interested to take knowledge about this uh, parasite ahead and we are going to focus on the uh, its reproductive system okay so as you know in last session that is these uh, immature proglottids uh, are going to change themselves into the mature proglottids and each segment of these um, proglottid of the each segment of this particular tape worm having its uh, the combination of the reproductive system that is the both reproductive system male as well as the female is present in a single animal okay so it is known as the hermaphrodite animal okay so it having the male reproductive system as well as the female reproductive system within it only a segmented okay so it is highly segmented entire animal okay up to the 1000 segments okay and as you can see the uh, mature proglottids are uh, going to get uh, the these reproductive portion reproductive stage okay up to on this particular segments are going to get towards the mature proglottids okay so as if you see here up to the uh, gravid proglottids the process of the fertilization or the copulation after that the fertilization is happen in between these mature proglottids to the gravid proglottids okay and the last segment as you can see the it is elongated segment is long than the broad okay its length is increased and that is length is increased due to its gravidness okay gravid means the the eggs are there in that segment okay so as you can see and let's focus on the uh, second part of the tania solium okay which is the reproductive system okay of the tania solium okay so it has already been referred to that nearly 300 to 400 proglottids of mature proglottids okay are hermaphrodite okay that means the male as well as the female system uh, organs are present in a complete set of that particular entire segment okay so however the structures of a mature proglottids clearly exhibits the reproductive organs in the way okay so the let starts with the male reproductive system and i will show you some pictures that these uh, two entire uh, male reproductive system system as well as the female reproductive system is uh, combined in between the one particular cell okay so the male reproductive organs consist the testes vas afferentia vas deferens okay um, the sirus and penis and the sirus sac okay so let's begin with the testes okay so there are numerous small spherical uh, bodies found uh, scattered throughout the parenchyma 
in the greater part of the proglottid towards the dorsal side okay as you can see this is the uh, mature proglottid segment and single segment okay so as you can see it's elongated then it's broad okay length is broader okay and as you can see the mesenchymal the uh, mature uh, mesenchymal cells okay as you as you can see the longitudinal muscles and uh, sub cuticular cells that are the present in its body wall okay so we are talking about the body wall of that particular mature proglottid segment okay so as you can see the few uh, the parenchyma in the greater part of the proglottid towards the dorsal side so few workers are of a few view that the testis is a single but it is a branch so that numerous and small uh, rounded follicles are formed okay so however these testes is a branch okay and that single testes is a branch testis okay so as you can see the each segment one se one testis set is uh, present okay and that small rounded follicles are formed okay so in the present uh, text okay or the uh, the textbooks referred as uh, with these uh, parasitological textbooks which having the information that the follicle have been referred as a testis okay and that particular follicle having this small small rounded follicles okay and that is branched follicles okay so as you can see in this particular picture it is the reproductive system picture of the tanya solium okay and as you can see this uh, yellow highlighted thing it is the part of the female reproductive system but just below that okay that's beneath um, you can see some branched uh, uh, structures like tree branching okay that is nothing but the testis and that small small uh, bud on this particular testis bud or you can see them okay you can say them the follicles of the testis itself okay so okay so as you can see the vasa efferentia okay as you can see the vasa efferentia over there just uh, vasa differentia and efferentia okay that linings okay the branchings are nothing but the vasa differentia and efferentia okay so from its testes the minute capillary originates called as the vas efferens okay singular is the vas efferens and the uh, plural will be the vasa efferentia okay so the vasa efferentia from the surrounding testes unite to form the common sperm duct to approximately in the middle of the proglottid okay and it is uh, commonly uh, having the surrounded the structures and situated on the uh, middle of the proglottid so the third main part is was difference okay and the common sperm duct is known as the was difference okay and the branchings watch which is going to collect these uh, mature sperms and going to form and going to meet to the vas difference okay that are nothing but the vasa efferentia okay so the common sperm ducts or the vas difference runs as a convoluted duct convoluted means a common duct transversely to open in the sizes okay and this sirus is nothing but okay as you can see the sirus okay sirus or the penis okay in your uh, left side okay so as you can see the uh, sirus or the penis at the common gonadopore okay just beneath 
of the common gonadopore, the sac-like structures known as the cirrus. Okay, and that cirrus is nothing but uh, uh, it is the sac to store the machiosperms. Okay, so the cirrus or the penis is a muscular, uh, the intimate organ in which the vas deferens continues and meet to the cirrus sac. Okay, and the cirrus is uh, is the prostitutable and it's surrounded by the cirrus sac okay and the muscular sections is known as the cirrus and the uh, which uh, something uh, the coverings okay the uh, uh, coverings on these uh, cirrus uh, muscular thing will be known as the cirrus sac okay so the general atrium is opened by the common gonadopore by swallowing now uh, the swollen genital papillae and that genital papillae lies alternately more or less regularly in the successive proglottids on the uh, right and on the left side okay so as you can see this is the mature proglottid segment okay which are passing through the tip okay it is the and uh, as you can see this uh, particular mature body wall okay you can see the lateral nerve cord okay you can see the accessory lateral nerve cords okay which are uh, just beneath with the lateral nerve cords you can see the testis okay uh, highlighted in a sing uh, at your left side section okay with the yellow rounded structures okay so this will be uh, the we will see it again when we are going to study the female reproductive system as you can see this is the mature proglottid to show the reproductive organs we, with the male and female respectively we have seen the testes that are the that rounded uh, gonads or the that rounded structures we have seen the versi differentia, differentia and we have seen the um, cyrus or it's also known as the panus okay so the female reproductive organs okay the female reproductive organs consist of a bilobed ovary that is having the uh, one set of ovary okay that is means a pair of ovary is there okay and you can see the oviduct utip okay vagina uterus and the melitz gland okay so we will see the what is the melitz gland and the white line gland is okay so the first will let starts with the ovary so it is bilobed structure situated ventrally in the posterior part of the proglottid posterior part okay and the male re reproductive system is situated at the middle okay and the female reproductive system the ovaries are situated in that particular segment at the posterior part okay so the proglottids and it's also uh, called as the germarium okay so the both lobes are connected by transverse ovarian bridge okay and that ovarian bridge or the isthmus okay that ovarian bridge is also known as the isthmus okay and each lobe of this ovary is formed of a number of radially a uh, grand uh, arranged follicles okay and that radially arranged follicles are connect to the isthmus okay so the oviduct um, nearly form in the middle of ovarian bridge okay and a median short but wide oviduct arise which opens into the utip okay okay just take a look about uh, the ovary and the oviduct positions okay as you can see the two bilobed structures which are located at the posterior part okay so the ovary as you can see the highlighted uh, yellow with the hexagonal uh, shape like circles uh, or the hexagons 
okay into that particular uh, rounded circle that is the one singular ovary and you can see the pair of ovaries okay and that are connected with the ovarian bridge okay that two are connected with the ovarian bridge okay and the you can see the oviduct okay you can see the uterine canal just below that okay and that uterine canal you can see the seminal receptacles okay you can see uh, the utip and that utip is nothing but that the junction uh, with the uterus and the these uh, two ovaries and with the um, vitelline gland okay and that vitelline gland is having its own duct that is known as the vitelline duct okay and that junction is carried out by means of that utip okay let's see what is the utip is it is a small spherical bulb like structure situated at the junction of the oviduct okay and uterus and the vitelline duct okay the fourth major uh, thing in the female reproductive system is the vagina and it is a narrow tubular structure that runs slightly oblique inwards from the female gonadopore in the genital atrium and dilates to form the seminal receptacles as you can see the seminal receptacles okay and it is the uh, seminal receptacles as you can see okay and uh, that uh, from the common gonadopore to the uh, uterine canal okay okay so that seminal receptacles is the passage or the gateway of to form the uh, these sperms are going to get uh, going to follow that path okay when these cyrus or the penis is going to release the mature sperms into these common gonadopore okay then that sperms are going to swim uh, from this lumen cavity okay and that is going to meet the uh, eggs released by these this ovaries okay and that are stored that fertilized uh, store eggs are stored into the this uterus okay and that fertilized egg are known as the fertilized egg capsules okay so as you can see vagina it is a narrow tubular structure that runs slightly oblique inwards from the female gonadopore in the genital atrium and dilate to form the seminal receptacles okay and these seminal receptacles stores the sperm temporarily and continues as the narrow short fertilizing duct to join the oviduct okay okay so this uh, as you can see uh, with in between uh, these uh, below the uh, ovarian bridge okay and that uh, common gonadopore or this uh, the genital atrium okay and that tube like um, passage is nothing but the vagina okay and that vagina is uh, going to open in the seminal receptacles okay the bulb like structure with this uh, continuing with the uh, vagina okay and that are going to going to get meat into the oviduct okay and the uterine canal okay and the utip is going to uh, junction all these things uh, at the its own base okay so the seminal receptacle stores the sperms okay as you can see the uh, temporary uh, for a temporary period and going to continues a narrow short fertilizing duct to join the oviduct okay so as you can see the uterus over here okay that uh, particular thing uterus is going to store the fertilized egg capsules okay that uh, highlighted yellow bulb like structure okay let's see closely over here the other things are get vanished and only the female reproductive system is highlighted in this particular picture 
so as you can see the uterus it is a blind club shaped okay the bulb, bulb like structure that are this uh, also known as this you can say the sac like structures it originates from the utip okay as you can see that are originate from the utip okay and it extends towards the anterior side okay going to extends towards the anterior side and the fertilized egg are packed okay and uh, that fertilized eggs are packed in it and in the gravid proglottids okay that's why the fertilized eggs are stored into the uterus or you can say the fertilized egg capsules to them so highly branched having 7 to 10 branches okay you can see the role of the uh, vitelline gland okay where is the vitelline gland is situated okay so uh, the vitelline gland just below the uh, mallet's gland okay and that uh, mallet's glands are situated on the u-tube okay sorry u-tube not the u, u type okay so the vitelline glands are nothing but the uh, structures it is a large lobulated uh, glandular mass situated at the posterior margins of the proglottids okay and a median vitelline duct originates from its uh, which joins the utip okay that extensions of that utip is uh, uh, providing this space for this vitelline glands okay and as you can see the mahalitz gland okay and that mahalitz glands are present on the utip okay uh, the small uh, rounded structures okay the utip is uh, surrounded by a large number of uh, unicellular glands called as the mahalitz gland okay and these uh, two glands are going to produce some uh, uh, some some enzymes or the some uh, proteins to or uh, some hormones to get properly estimate all these things and properly workings are uh, of this uh, female reproductive system okay is going to control by means of the hormones released by means these uh, vitelline glands and the mahalitz glands okay so we are going to stop here we have seen the uh, reproductive system of the uh, tania solium is also known as the poke tapeworm okay so thank you we will meet in the next session